just been asked if I want to sell the car. <laughs> no chance. Right, guys. Everybody on my followers, be welcome to another video. Right. Uh, to start with, I would like to apologize. I've just left night. Uh, 7, 7 a.m. It's now about half 11. And I'm really tired. And I probably look really bad. But anyway, not that I look good at any point. Anyway, but anyway, right. The thumbnail and the title most likely it will suggest what this is about. So there's no secrets. We're going to attempt to install wireless charging for mobile phones on this car. Now, let me take you a little bit through the story of what's going on. So I was thinking in my head um, how DIY wise how I could install wireless charging on this car. Um, and I had loads of ideas, different ideas. Uh, and my last, my, my, latest, my latest idea was using a um, Samsung fast charging um, or fast charger to, well, it looks like I'm gonna run out space on the phone. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, that's better. Now I have 44 minutes. Right, as I was saying, so my, uh, I think I was saying that. Um, so I was uh, thinking in my head <clears throat> on a way to make a DIY uh, wireless charging system. Now, my initial idea or my latest idea was using a um, Samsung uh, fast charger, which is the, the, the original uh, wireless chargers for the Samsungs. Uh, I do believe this will work for other um, wireless phones, uh, what, I'm, what we're going to do here. Um, and even the Samsung wireless charger will work with other phones. Anyway, as I was saying, um, and, and I was planning to use one to take into bits and to use it over here. Let me show you. So if you do have a, oh, sorry about the wire. If you do have a E60, we, you will have this little door and my plan was to take all these out and get the wireless the wireless charger somehow on the underside of this uh, obviously a hole underneath behind the dash so I would just slide the phone in here close the door and the phone would be charging so that was my plan was to do that uh, now it was two problems with that approach now, problem number one was that would be some sort of wires, etc. on the underside. Not that you would see it, but I would know it was there, it was no original. It would, I don't know, you wouldn't see nothing, hopefully, you wouldn't see nothing. Even the, the, the bottom of that little drawing there uh, would be exactly as it is. It was just get the charger behind it, slide the phone, job done. But yeah, once it was a little bit, eh. and second, uh, it was that that would get the phone in there, uh, would reduce obviously the the signal for the phone. Uh, obviously, the phone would still connect it through through uh, Bluetooth to the car, but for the general uh, signal for the network, it would be a little bit less signal in there. Um, so as I was then search for parts for all the stuff, other options, I came across this. And if this work, guys, I'm gonna be really pleased. Now I've seen these being fitted on E90s F series, but for some reason I never seen these being fitted on a E60. Now looking at the diagrams, it looks like this will work on E60, so I don't see why not. Um, um, I mean connection wise um, if it fits here I don't know yet we're gonna have a look but before that let me show you exactly what this is sorry about that I was being interrupted let's go and open the box and let me show you what this is and what this is I'm gonna leave the part number for this somewhere here on the screen uh, but you can also see the part number in there in case if you are interested this is a genuine focus come on 
Anyway, I'll leave the part number on the screen. This is a, a genuine BMW wireless uh, device. Okay, so the, the phone will go here like this. Uh, which, which should fit here somehow. which in my case will only fit if it's out of the case. I knew it because when I measure the thing, but that's fine, it's not a problem. So that's how he holds the phone. Unfortunately, it will have to be out of the case, but I'm not too worried about that. This is a Samsung S10. Uh, you can't really go much bigger than this. If you have a bigger phone, then you won't be able to do it. But yeah, so this is how it works. So you just, uh, oh dear, no my brand new phone. This is not the day for me to record this today, believe me. So the way it goes is just go like that. You push it all the way down, drop it, and then that will push a little bit and it holds the phone in place, okay? The place where this goes, I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly where this is supposed to go. And I'm going to show you that exactly um, where it is and hopefully how you connect it, uh, how you remove the old uh, TCU adapter, etc, etc. So uh, with no further ado guys, because surely you don't care about me showing you this. You just want to see everything working. So let's let's go. Let's going to do it. OK, so the place where this is going to go is instead of this snapping device. So. If you have a BMW, it depends on your options, but a lot of BMWs, they come with this option, which is a snapping system. And basically what it is, is, what it is, is you take this cover here. Let me see if I can do this one hand. Probably not. Oh, come on. So what you have is this uh, TCU snapping system. And basically what this is, is um, BMW used to sell different snapping adapters that would just clip in here and in here and was basically an adapter for a different phone. Um, you had it for so many different phones for the Motorola, Razer, you had it for the Nokias, you had it for the, um, for the iPhones and basically somehow the phone it would have a, um, the USB or whatever that is and would just snap in the phone in here and that's it. Uh, that's the way it works. But Obviously, BMW stopped doing the adapters a long time ago. Plus, you don't have adapters for all the phones. Um, so, hopefully, we'll be able to remove this, um, this part and install this one in its place. Right here. So, we'll go here on its place and hopefully it will work. We'll see how it goes. So, that's the plan, guys. Okay, and it might not be the right way to start, but to start with, I'm going to take these screws underneath, and hopefully that will split this top bit, this top from this bottom side, and will allow me to start to take things apart. After that, I think the cables runs on the side, and I need to take this part here at the back to access the, the plugs, etc. Uh, another thing I forgot, guys, is that that, uh, on top of the wireless charging system, it does something else uh, because you connect the antenna of the car for the mobile system and this has a kind of a inductive antenna as well so improves drastically the the reception of the the signal for the actually uh, uh, network so which is another feature that I really liked so yeah that's another thing but yeah let's uh, let's gonna do this then Let's gonna take the screws out and see what uh, what we do from there. Okay, there we go. So once you take the screws out, you lift this bit here, which is this sort of base frame, whatever. And this, there's, there's two clips here at the back that you open, these two clips, and the TCU actually snapped in system comes off. And now we just need to go and find where these cables go, which I think is right there at the back. So let me take you through what we did so far. So we pulled we pulled these out and um, So we pulled these out and then there is two metal clips underneath here holding the vents 
and you pull the vents out and down here are the plugs that goes into the TCU up there so we'll just press that to unclip come on uh, to unclip that there we go just a bit more See, let me take the antenna first now we unclip this part here uh, there we go and this goes all the way up here to the let's see how this comes off oh dear uh, let me go to the other side to pull the cables okay so I ended up by dismantling the plug to get it through this little hole because otherwise it won't pass there we go and the TCU system is out. So when we look at the plugs dismantled, um, this one is for the wireless uh, charging system. This is for the TCU. Uh, so the TCU does have this brown and red in the same positions as this one at the top, but the top one is black. Let me see if I can show you this properly. So as you can see, the top is black and red but the black and the red are in the same positions. Then on the other side, we do have a green at the bottom on the TCU. As you can see, there is a green and a white. There is a green uh, in the same position. Then you have a pink and a gray on here that I don't have a clue what that's for, to be honest. And you have a white here that is not in the same position as anything else. I'm not really sure what these two wires are for. Uh, some sort of signal maybe. I probably should have checked or should check what they are for but we're gonna attempt to just plug this in before we put everything in place uh, so in case if we need to move any pins. Uh, leave the antenna for now so how this goes in there. Let me just check. So this goes on the plug like this, and the plug goes like that. Okay. Guys, I've just plugged in in there. Uh, I had to put the plug back in. That's just uh, the ignition is on. Uh, let's put the phone and see what happens. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And it's charging. How beautiful is this? Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, let's put everything in place properly and then and then see exactly how everything works. Okay, and the next thing we did was obviously put the thingy on this sort of base plate, uh, rooted the cables properly through there. There is a these little tabs here to hold the cables, and now we can uh, obviously the cables go through there ready. Now we're gonna screw this back in and see how it looks. Okay, so. No wonder I've never seen this being fitted on a E60 because it doesn't fit. Well, it will fit, <laughs> but right. So I had to modify to cut these here to sink the cables in there. I had to cut these stoppers here and a little bit here uh, because of that area there um, to sink the wall wireless charging cordal to sink it in into the into the into this frame. Uh, I will show you once everything is in place and I will show you why I had to do this. Okay, and voila! Beautiful light. Now, I had to cut that little bit in there. I know it doesn't look pretty. Uh, ideally, I would cut both sides, but on this side there is an inch. Um, it, it, it looks a little bit worse if I cut it, so I don't want to cut this side. The reason why I had to cut this side was because otherwise the phone... Hold on, there's a little bit of plastic here. This rubber thing, I need to clean this because otherwise the phone would go over the corner there and would lift and wouldn't stay. So, there we go, spot on. There is so otherwise the phone wouldn't go all the way down. Um, another thing, I think if my phone was a little bit bigger, it wouldn't work anyway. Next reason why I had to sink this so, as you can see, this here was flush with this here. Now, if I left it like that. This will touch the lead and the lead would not close. So it does close now, absolutely fine. 
okay but otherwise it wouldn't close so i managed to sink that in there and to be honest other than that little cut in there i'm quite happy it looks quite quite nice quite smart so let's just plug everything back in uh, in there and i'm quite happy with this a little bit of work around to get this to work and now yes i understand why i've never seen this uh, being fitted on a 60 because it's not a straight fitment but with a little bit of persistence you can get it done so let's plug everything back in the in, in there and then have a, a, a last look at it Okay guys, all done, and I'm so proud of my work, honestly. Uh, managed to fit it in here, it works perfect. It is a shame that it doesn't charge, I mean, it doesn't fit there with the, the with my phone case, which is a little bit of a shame, because I like to have the phone on the case. But nevertheless, I think it works, that's the main thing. Um, I probably could do something to make it to work with the case, if I would open the, the system and would allow that to open a little bit more. But honestly, I don't want to fiddle much more with this. Um, I, I'm happy that it works, that's all it matters. So yeah, I got it to work. Uh, I'm really happy with it. And um, uh, just to let you know, the system is all powered uh, by Fuse something, which is on terminal, I think terminal K or so, it's, it's on the timer terminal. So. Once the car goes to sleep, it will get power to this. So it's not like if this is going to be on all the time. So you don't need to worry about anything else. Um, electrically, it's plug and play, um, as you have seen. And that is a straightforward fitment, pretty much. Uh, on the E90s and other models, it is a straight fit. You put it on, clip it in, that's it, job done. Uh, as I said and repeated myself, now I understand why I haven't seen these being fitted on E60. But guys, as I said, and again, with a little bit of persistent, um, persistent, you can get there. You can get things done. So we got it done. I'm gonna leave you with the last overview of uh, of this, and I think I'll wrap the video here now. I'm just gonna leave you with some footage now for this. But yeah, guys, this was the retrofit of a genuine BMW uh, wireless charging system QI, I think it's called, on. A, 2006 BMW E60. Uh, obviously, these will apply to any E60 with the TCU and possibly with other systems that will have the same sort of um, loom and plug-in and sockets, etc. etc. Uh, do your own research before you spend some money on this. Uh, you can buy these directly from BMW, not too expensive. I will leave the links in the description below. Uh, I got my one from eBay, uh, but I got it a little bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, you can. It's not too expensive. I think it costs about 135 pounds original from BMW. So you can't really go wrong to get something like this, which makes the car to look a little bit more um, uplifted, a little bit more um, up to the new technologies, etc. etc. So, yeah, guys, with no further ado, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope there's something um, here uh, that you have learned, maybe. Um, if you do still have any questions, any comments, please, please put them below. And like always, thanks for watching.